Welcome back to Ozarks Tonight. I'm Heather Lewis. If your New Year's resolution was to give back more or maybe just volunteer a little bit more, there's actually a great opportunity to help thousands of people here in the Ozarks. January happens to be Volunteer Blood Donor Month. And here to talk more with that, us about that tonight is Chris Pilgrim with the Community Blood Center of the Ozarks. Thank you so much for being Heather, here. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. So let's talk about January being the blood donor month for volunteers. Why January? Well, it happened back in 1969. Richard Nixon declared the month National Volunteer Blood Donor Month, and it's happened every year since. So this would be year 51 of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it it's, uh, serves two purposes, really. It celebrates the fact that blood donors everywhere in this country are willing to give and give them of themselves so that uh, pe so the people can live. They do it by the goodness of their heart. They don't do it for any money. They do it because it's the right thing to do. So mm -hmm. that fact should be celebrated, and, and that, that's why we take a month out of every year to celebrate that fact. The other fact is that January can be a high usage month when it comes to blood donation. Now you've got a couple of factors working here. You've got weather. Weather could be bad and that can knock donors out of being able to give and shortages can occur. Also elective surgeries are put off many times during the month of December into the month of January because of the holidays and things like that. So it's just a good reminder for people to, uh, to, to give blood in, in January and all the time. Very good. Now CBCO does serve about 40 different area hospitals right. as well. What is the need like right now? Community Blood Center of the Ozarks donors, and it's an important distinction. We provide all of the blood to patients, all the blood and plasma to patients at 40 plus area hospitals. The need right now is great. It takes about 200 donations every day if you average it out. That can be uh, true whether it's a month of January or whether it's a hot day in the summer, whether it's a Sunday, a holiday. Still need about 200 donations each day. So we try to get those numbers. Uh, we want to have just enough, not too much, but we like to keep at least a three-day supply of blood on hand so that we can meet the needs of area patients and meet any emergency that may arise. And you also mentioned plasma as well, and that's something important to, to know when you are going to donate at CBCO, that that is a volunteer-based thing. Absolutely. Uh, if, if a plasma donation goes into a person at a, or a hospital, it has to come from a volunteer. The Food and Drug Administration mandates that, right? So you see these plasma centers and organizations that pop up and they actually pay you for your plasma donation. The important distinction is while that's a good thing for you to get paid and for the plasma companies to get that plasma, they take it to their factories and they make medicine out of it. It won't go into a live human being. So we really like to stress the fact that if you want to give to somebody, to a friend or neighbor here in the Ozarks, your plasma or your blood donation, it has to come from a volunteer. And that's why we don't pay uh, our donors to give blood. Okay, so what would you say to someone who's like, you know, I, I, I've never given blood but I'm interested in it. I don't like needles. I'm not quite sure what this process entails. So what would you say to someone who might be interested but hasn't done it yet? People might think the only, uh, the number one reason people don't donate is because they're afraid of needles. Mm -hmm. That's significant, but I'm here to tell you, I, I was 40 years old when I first tried to donate blood. I waited a long time because I was kind of afraid too. Uh, and I'm here to tell you, it doesn't hurt that badly. There's kind of a stick in the sting when the needle goes in, but then it's relatively painless the rest of the time. But mm -hmm. it's offset, by the way, with the great feeling you get when you come out of that donation knowing that you help somebody. But the number one reason people don't donate blood is because they haven't been asked to do so. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pretty simple. Blood is something you don't think about right until you need it. It just happens in the background, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't even think about blood donation, but it has to happen. We have to get 200 people to make the decision every day to give blood. Blood, uh, so that our area of friends and neighbors, sick and healing area patients can get better. Very good. And some people actually make it a competition to give blood during the month of January. Tell me about the Rotary Club and what they're doing. We've got a great number of competitive uh, blood drives that go on. You know, Mercy and Cox Health have a blood drive every year, the Racing to Save Lives blood drive. This one is in the month of January, though, and it's for our Rotarians. Ever since we performed back in 1995, by the way, our 25th anniversary this mm -hmm. year, uh, the Rotary Clubs in the area have engaged in a friendly competition to see a couple of things. Who can give the most, the highest percentage of donors based on their club's size? and also who can improve the most from year to year. So we're doing it again this January. All area Rotarians will be heading to CBCO donor centers throughout the Ozarks and they'll be uh, they'll be giving blood and enjoying the friendly competition and bragging rights when it's all over. All right, I was about to say, what, what's the prize here? It's the bragging rights. Bragging rights. That means you're, more than anything some, in some cases. Your club sign on a plaque outside our blood center and, and besides that, the ability to go ha, ha, ha. Exactly. <laughs> now for people who do come in and just donate, you also do giveaways. 
Absolutely. We have giveaways. In fact, we, we've got a long sleeve shirt right now that we're offering to people throughout the month of January. And that don uh, that gift and giveaway will change during the year. It's our goal though, to have something for a donor every time they walk in in the year 2020. That's one of our goals. And that's something we'll try to make happen. So there's always something going on. And uh, you can go to our website at cbco.org to find out the latest giveaway. If, and we've got contests. We've got competitive events that are coming up during the summer. Uh, it's best just to keep, keep in tune. You can keep in tune on Facebook, social media, Instagram, Twitter. We're Just on all the those on all those <laughs> on all those platforms. But uh, we, we like to inform our donors and thank them for the good deeds they do every day. And one more question, where can people donate and how often can you donate? You can donate once every 56 days. Now the, the requirements are you be at least 16 years of age. 16 year olds need specific written parental permission. You can get that on our website at cbco.org. Otherwise that'd be weigh at least 110 pounds. You may not have given for 56 days and you need to be feeling well and healthy at the time of your donation. If you fit those qualifications, you probably uh, have the ability to save lives. We have a donor center here in Springfield, open seven days a week. It's on South Campbell at Plainview Road. Also, blood drives all over the region. If you want to find a drive, again, to our website, you can uh, hit the donate tab at the top and find the blood drive coming to your area, cbco.org. Okay, easy enough. Chris Pilgrim, thank you so much for being here with have us. It's a pleasure, thank you. We'll be right back.